Hello from Gardening at Twenza in Ireland and this video is going to show how to take mealy bugs off of a pelargonium using isopropyl alcohol. And I'm here in my greenhouse and today I'm expecting a visitor and the visitor is Liga Plata from the channel uh, Pot of Jewels and as we all know she's absolutely mad about pelargoniums so when she comes I don't want her to see the mealy on this fine specimen of pelargonium that I have so I'm going to treat it. Now let's go in here and have a look at what we're dealing with. And if we look at this, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic plant, but if we look in here, you can see globs of white on the stem. And these are actually mealy bug, which is a nasty pest and will suck, suck the sap out of the plant over a period of time. So I'm going to treat it with a mixture of propanol alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, there it is, and water. And I'm going to use Q-tips to apply it to the stems. Just before we start I want to mention that this bottle was given to me by, by my dear friend Lynn Kimberly from Desert Plants of Avalon and um, it's the first time I'm going to use it and <laughs> at the very end of this video what I'm going to do rather than to link to other people's channels here at the very end with the end notes I'm going to link to both Liga's channel and to Lynn's channel and both of them really are worth checking out both girls have a vast extensive plant knowledge and you know I really do like to support other channels where people know what they're talking about and these two certainly fit the bill so check back at the end of this video to see the links to those channels if you don't know them already and I'm sure you perhaps do know them already okay so we're going to start treating this poor pelagonia and what I've done here is I've fetched a container from the recycling. It's just a plastic container and it's been cleaned. And I'm going to put an amount of the alcohol, and that's the isopropyl alcohol, in here. This is also known as rubbing alcohol. Okay, and Lynn's measurements were to put 20% water in there so look I'm just going to put a bit of water in and that's what we'll say it is we'll say it's 20% now I'm just going to give this a bit of a mix and the q-tip is the best thing to do that with and q-tips of course should not be used for cleaning your ears but they're really great for dealing with infestations on plants and getting all those tricky areas okay now, so a big plant like this, what I need to do is make sure that I cover everywhere that the white mealy is and not forget any. So I think I'm going to start over here and just rub it on there. And this should just make them shrivel up. Just replenishing the cotton bud. And you can see how the tricky little biters get in there. And this is quite good because as I touch them with the mixture, they are no longer white. So this will be good to know what I've covered and what I've dealt with and what I haven't. Now, this is going to take some time. And all the better if we can't see where the mealy bug was. I'm just going to switch now to the other side of this Q-tip because it means when Liga comes she's not going to know that I had an infestation on here. She'll just see a beautiful pelargonium. Right, now if we look up here it's really quite bad on this plant. It's surprising really, I'm going to turn it slightly, it's surprising really that the plant has um, blossomed so well considering it is being attacked by mealy. Now look down here. Oh, 
And thank you to Lynn for giving me this tip. I have um, sprayed before, but, well, anyway, I think the rubbing alcohol is the thing to use in the case of Mealy. Now, if we go over here, look, this is really quite bad here. It's like they're having a, a party on the nodes of my poor plant. Let's see how they nestle in there in all of the little axles where they can hide and do their worst and they don't seem to be on the newest growths maybe just because they haven't got there yet <laughs> it seems to be on the older ones which is kind of counterintuitive you'd think that the newer ones would be tasty and delicious And as you can see, this job is going to take quite a bit of time as this plant is quite badly infested. But it's a very satisfying job to do watching these mealies melt away as I touch them with the alcohol. And thanks once again to Lynn for showing me this method and also to Liga for, well, awakening my interest in pelagoniums. And Really, I just want to point out again that at the very uh, front of my front page on YouTube I have a list of the channels that I find particularly interesting and informative and we really should support those on YouTube who know what they're talking about and have a certain amount of plant knowledge that they share with us. I mean entertainment is fine but people who've built up a body of knowledge are of course the ones we should be learning from. Now, oh, goodness, wherever I look there's more of this going on. Poor plant. Now if we look at these poor stems here you'll see that there's quite a bit of blackening on the on the stems and that's as a result of the mealy as well. The white is their physical presence but that black is what they produce as they well feed on the plant. And if you have a plant that you can easily do this with then what you can do is wash that off but with a pelagonium where the stems are so soft I'm not going to be able to do that. We'll just have to wait until the plant produces new stems. And uh, try and ignore the old ones in the meantime. Now just removing any kind of dead sheets as we go. To make it easier to see what I am doing. There we go. Bad mealy. Okay, and that's about it. If we look at the Q-tips, what I found is that by rubbing the alcohol on the backs of the stems, it's actually removing a lot of the black that the insects have produced. And of course, that's good because, um, you know, the plant, if it's covered in black sooty mould, it can't breathe properly. And if it's on its leaves, it can't photosynthesize. So that's, that's all good stuff. Right, okay, so n nothing left to do except to put this plant back in pride of place and to hope that Liga doesn't spot what's happened to it when she comes in a couple of hours. Thanks very much for watching and again a reminder to check out Lynn's Desert Plants of Avalon uh, YouTube channel and Liga's Potted Jewels YouTube channel which are both absolutely fabulous. Thanks very much. Bye.